but this is Kaylee Mills, and I'm Amelia and ReZero, Union and Konosuba, and both of them an Isekai Quartet. Also Sarah from Gundam Build Divers, and Alice from Sword Art Online Aliceization. And I'm an anime maverick. From the land of crazy hairstyles and overly ridiculous weapons, it's time for the Anime Mavericks Podcast! And now, here they are, your Anime Mavericks! Uh, and once again, I've already fucked things up, ladies and gentlemen. RVT Entertainment, never without a botch. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Mavericks Podcast, the official anime podcast of RVT. We want to thank you guys once again for joining us here this week on The Shades. Oh, hello? <laughs> We, of course, are your Anime Mavericks, and we're here to bring you all the anime news, reviews, and interviews that you crave. And, uh, yeah, you can tell we haven't done this for a few weeks, huh? Right. <laughs> uh. Eh, uh, we've all been busy. I had a vacation myself not too long ago, so you're not the only one to blame. <laughs> I gotta judge <jump> that! <laughs> exactly, guts. A and P, frequent as ever. Consistency. We're swimming in it! As someone who's been to a Kaiju Big Battle show, uh, I can't blame you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we've been, all of us have been rather busy. It's been crazy. Uh, like I said, I was actually, uh, went out to go visit family out in South Carolina uh, a couple of weeks ago. That was a crazy trip. I guess the first time I've been out of the state in decades. Or no. Take that back. In at least a decade, because the last time I went out of state was in 2010. And that was for uh, SGC. But, but since then, I have not left the state of Florida. <laughs> Tried to once. We were going to go up uh, years ago. I think we were going to drive up to Indiana to see my family, but uh, got pulled over just as we were reaching the, <laughs> reaching the state line. <laughs> we had to turn around and go back home. Yeah, that was a bust. That was uh, infuriating to us. But no, regardless, regardless. Anyway, on tonight's show, since it is sp Halloween tomorrow, we have decided to get another spooktacular lineup here for us. Uh, Kira is actually going to take over the pick this week with a rather with an interesting one. And then, of course, it's a beautiful night. It's especially beautiful with tonight's AMV. I'm sure at least some of you might have gotten that reference. But first, it's time for everyone's favorite topic. It's the anime news of the week. And starting us off, as always, is our anime informer, Yamiyaji. What do you got for us this week? Uh, the, uh, yeah, S Sayori Sugimoto. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Ki what? I, hold on, I gotta figure this out. I, they can't hear. Give me a test. I had the mic set on the wrong line. On. They couldn't hear a single thing you guys said. Oh my god. <laughs> I take my I take my eye off the thing for a second. So they they couldn't hear a single thing you guys said up until just now. 
because I fucked up again. The, the, I up. All right. Full disclosure. I updated to Windows 11 recently, and this is the result. Fuck you, Windows Update. Fuck you. Yeah, I I I, I, I jumped I the gun. The... Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another case of technology. It likes to give us the middle finger. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how else you could say it. <laughs> Good lord. Especially after last night. Oh my god. Anyway. Alright, so let's get back to where let's start over again. So we're we're talking about the passing of voice actress Sayori Sugimoto. Angie, go ahead and continue. Okay. Oop. I gotta click. Oh, they didn't get the part where I have to take my ma- uh, my finger off the button to <laughs> toggle ironically away from the, the stream page which I had muted <laughs> muted, so I didn't notice I wasn't hearing myself. Okay, um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, she passed away on October 21st due to congested, uh, congestive heart failure that was um, associated with um, anorexia. Um, and she was 58, so yeah, let's, is it, it, yeah, it's sad to hear. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like, yeah, um, sad. Thank you. Um, you know, it's like uh, it's someone who it's like I I not I don't starve myself, but I do um, you know, uh, obsess about my weight. It does it does uh, it, 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 this, it, 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 hear someone as pa- uh, as passed from complications related to that does uh, you know uh, does sadden me and does make me go quiet and think for a minute. You know, she was best known uh, for her uh, for voicing the character uh, Ramaru. Um, Mikaiba in um, uh, Shimarjo, uh, at the Shimarjo Children's Anime's franchise. Um, she was. She had been. She had started the. She. She had been. Uh, she uh, been voicing the roles um, since uh, since 1993. And uh, you know she's also known as. Um, I was, we would pick her out. We, she was Catherine Bloom, uh, uh, Catherine Bloom, a uh, Bloom in uh, Mobile Suit, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Um, and yeah. If you don't remember, Catherine was Troa's, um, not uh, maybe sister, uh, you know, uh, like adoptive sister slash maybe sister. I haven't reread. I haven't seen. They've retconned that again in Gundam: The Teardrop. <laughs> they, they, they keep <laughs> retconning. Also, Angie, you might want to take a deep breath. Your stuttering is a little worse than usual tonight. Yeah, as I said, it um, <laughs> the, the topic matter just kind of. Yeah, uh, that's why I say take a deep a little, breath. So. Take a deep breath. I, I get it. Trust me. Uh, thankfully, I've never had to deal with anorexia. I think the, in, neither has uh, Lady K. We pretty much avoided that fate, but it is one of those things. Like you can understand why people would have it, why that kind of mental disorder would kick in. The need, you know, especially in even today in the Instagram age, you know, people always have to look their best. And when you see stuff like uh, Adelie getting, um, or Adele, I should say, I got my names mixed up, Adele suddenly losing weight, and then all of a sudden now you're expected to live up to a standard that does not exist. And I want to make that very clear to any of our female audience members: do not try to become as thin or or, 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 or as beautiful looking as all these supermodels that you see on Instagram, rest assured, one, your body may not be capable of doing that, and two, you're beautiful just the way you are. My wife doesn't look like a fucking supermodel, and I still love her to death. All right? I don't need my yeah. wife to look like a fucking supermodel. Okay. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I'd want yeah. her to. <laughs> probably, probably, yeah, you, know. you don't need to, and even if you do lose, it's like, because uh, I did lose a little bit weight over because I – what I was going to balloon up with the pandemic. I, it's like, oh, you lose weight, and then those body, those areas you don't like, they're still going to jiggle. So, you know, <laughs> you can't win. Don't stress yourself out. Um, you know, do it. You know, it's like, so don't starve yourself. You know, if you want to exercise, do it because you want to be mobile, you know, for, you know, do, you know, do it for your health. Do it for I think it's the best way. Yeah, do it for your health. Yeah. You know, don't do it things. to look gr- don't, don't look, do it for looks, do it for health, because trust me, mm-hmm. you'll. You, the rest will come with it, is the way to look yeah. at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. So let's move on. Unfortunately, I'm going to warn you guys right now, the rest of the news is not going to be any better. This is all bad news night tonight. So, Gary, what do you got for us? Well, unfortunately, somebody has to be a fucking idiot yet again, because... Um... Uh, I forgot to set the button, so I'm just going to say, it's time for our douchebag of the day! 
Yeah, you expect Shades to do something like this, but no, this time it's me. Because um, the official website for the anime of Yuki Yuki World Dropkick on my doubled manga announced on Friday that they had to cancel an event due to ar- due to a threat of arson and death threats. Yeah, it's a double whammy this time, folks. Jesus Christ. And the problem is that after frickin' Kyoto Andy, they kind of have to take these kind of threats pretty seriously because someone actually followed through on those threats. Yeah, and in the event the organizers made, the event the organizers made the decision on the, on the recommendation of police because they actually saw this and they said, no, we're pointing to the cops. And yeah, this is, this is going to get, this is most likely investigating now or it's going to be finished up as we speak. We don't know anything about that yet, but... Apparently, it's getting arson drip on for, for the venue and death threats for the performers and the attendees. What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, what 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 reason would you have to make death threats for an anime? Like, I'm sorry. Like, you know, at least the Kyoto Annie fire, at least that that particular asshole, you could kind of understand his position. It still was wrong. It still was a dumb thing to do. But you could at least see the mindset going into that. What possible reason could you have to threaten arson and death for an enemy like this a, a you know a, you're ba- like looking at this it looks like like a a, 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 very, a your typical moe slice of life comedy with monster girls like that's what i see looking at this from the like from the outside what could you possibly do to 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 want to have threat to have like so much anger towards this yeah, and wait, didn't we didn't we cover a story like this a few months ago, Shades? It's becoming the it's becoming a regular thing now, and that's what's really scaring me. Is that this, uh, yeah, ever since Kyoto Annie, more and more the more and more of these threats. I mean, they were already kind of a yeah. thing to begin with, but now people are starting to do them more and more, and that's really worrying me. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I take back my fifty-two percent from from what I said before. Eighty-two percent are morons. Uh, yeah, and I'm still generous. Yeah, it is a sad, um, it, it is a sad trend, uh, trend that we're seeing. You know, to, uh, it, it, it's either, you know, people are putting out, you know, um, you, you know, as you said, like death threats and arson at these events because it should be a celebration. And even if you don't like the show or you don't like the fans. Because it's the super popular thing, it's just just go on a different part of the internet and just block the Tumblr tag and hope they remember to tag it, sort of thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess some people don't know how to keep their goddamn mouth shut. This, this is why I, mm-hmm. you know, I, M- Mildred the Monk and I have been talking about discussing uh, like a future Geek Watch topic about the you know about the toxicity of fandoms. Not you know, there is a difference between being a fan and being part of a fandom. Most of us here are fans. That includes you guys in the chat. You guys are usually pretty cool. But when you're part of a fandom, you become part of that collective toxicity that tends to be in every community you can think of. You name me a community, there is a to- I will find you a toxic part of it that you, you don't want to talk about. I don't care what community it is. I don't care Haruhi, Naruto, uh, One Piece. Uh, you know, I'm sure even there's a VTuber part out there, but they're better at filtering it out. But you tell you name me a community, Tokyo community. Oh, good God, the Tokyo community. And uh, Maddie can tell you about the wrestling toxicity. It's insane. <laughs> so just don't do that. Yeah, like what you like. Don't be a dick. Thank you. Yeah, Gardner. thank you. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, basically that, and just have the tact, you know, because it's like I'm on fan groups and. I don't agree with their head cannon. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and just mute the channel, you know, yeah. <laughs> and check back every once in a while. There you go. That's Not right. on here. <laughs> it's a it's a fan of thing. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> if, this, if this continues, I'm gonna be like Richard Barnes' words. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Wow, you're behind. Yeah. I'm already there. I've been there for a while. Where the fuck you been? <laughs> Getting my eye fixed. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, that brings me to my story this week. And uh, so, so far tonight, we've had an individual story that was bad. 
We had a, 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 a series story that was bad, considering it's an event for an anime series. Now let's talk about an entire company story that's bad. And that's, even though it's not technically bad, it's just, the writing's on the wall here, people. Once you see this, once you see what I'm about to show you, everything will make sense with what I'm about to say. Because, yep, uh, we got, a, we got more, we got more trouble. Another company's been bought up, or at least, uh, invested into by the wrong fucking people. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Kitakawa Animation has become the latest, uh, investment target of... Ten cent. I had a feeling you were gonna do that one when I saw that on ANN. Yep. The Chinese company Tencent now own will now own acquire a uh, stake in uh, Kitakawa. Now, thankfully, they're not owning a majority ownership. It's only a six point eight six percent investment. However. That will still be make them Kitakawa's third largest shareholder. And that means they're yeah. going to have significant power with Kitakawa. Yeah, that's concerning. Jade? Uh, should we panic yet? <sighs> Not yet, but we are definitely going to be very concerned. Because I don't think I had to tell most of you people at home why I am not the biggest fan of Tencent. Yeah, they, yeah. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm guessing some of you don't know, they own Riot Games. And Riot Games made League of Legends. And that's just the start of, the, uh, of uh, Tencent's uh, iron grip on pretty much all of entertainment. Like... More and more entertainment companies are at least, if they're not owned by Tencent outright, they definitely have, Tencent definitely has a hand in the cookie jar. Epic Games, anybody? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tencent owns a lot of shit. Trust me. Yeah. And unfortunately, it, yeah, it's going to be freaking crazy. And with Kitakawa being the mate, like, a major publishing company for manga in Japan and light novels, you can imagine that that's going to start affecting stuff. Uh, I fear for Bookwalker right now. I really do. Because Bookwalker is already kind of a, uh, is, is a, pretty good, a pretty good site and a pretty good app for getting light novels. How long is that going to last under ten, with Tencent having a hand in it? I, I, oh. I, I fear. You know, I don't usually like to call Doom and Gloom but I've seen what Tencent has done to other companies. They are the EA of China. And because that's that alone should tell you how bad this is. Jade? Hey, dear. So, yeah, basically, yeah, the, the video game version, uh, video game slash entertainment corporate readers. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's yeah. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> yeah, that's what these guys do. Like they don't Jade? buy out companies, but they have enough clout and everything. They they put uh, their hand into everything so they can have control over everything. Especially considering any companies that would probably be uh, having uh, services or entertainment out in China. If they if you work in China, ten cents likely going to own your ass eventually. I'm scared. Uh, now what you can do about it right now, but we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. Regardless, that is the anime news for this week. So it's time to get to our anime. Let's let's get on to fun things now. Now that we got all that bullshit out of the way, let's get on to fun things. So it is Cheers pick this week. Uh, it was supposed to be Angie's, but we considering it is Halloween, we needed a spoopy anime, and Angie uh, Cure had two lined up. Angie couldn't think of anything given her how busy she's been, so Cure took the pick this week. Uh, we'll have Angie probably pick hers next time, so just don't worry. We'll make sure to stay on track. <laughs> no problem. It's like he, it's like he had an idea, and I was like, and and, I, and when he had he had brought he had brought them up like well over a month ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's like and I was looking forward to it to to, to seeing to looking at one of the, uh, you know one of them because it's like, oh yeah, I remember those. It's like I was, it's like that would be good to I think that might be good to do. <laughs> so I'm like, so let's see. Yeah. As for what we're looking at today, today we're going to be taking a look at Blood Sea. 
This is a this is a somewhat older anime series. Ten years ago. Yeah, over a decade old. God damn it, I feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when this came out, and I remember well, it was pretty popular. Well, the, well, the other choice was well, the other choice was Witch Hunter Robin, and that came out in two thousand two. Okay, but it, quit reminding uh, me but... how old I am. <laughs> All right. That's why it's like, oh yeah, it's like it, it falls into it, it's spooky and it's it's not something like recent. So even if we've seen it again, uh, even if we have seen it, we probably don't remember as much. So so it's like, oh yeah, that would be good to do. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> well, so I, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Blood Sea. I I usually stay away from these kind of anime because I'm just stuff that involves a lot of blood or a lot of gore or kind of spoopy themes. I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, I can watch them. I mean, I, I think I made it clear with watching stuff like another. I can watch good uh, those kind of shows, but just this kind of stuff is not my wheelhouse. No, it's more. No, it's more. No, it's more Joe Bob's territory, and by somewhat extension, easy. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, you want to know whose territory this would be? This would be my daughter's. Yeah, I can see Jane. I'm watching this. Oh, she loves horror shit. Are you kidding me? I, ever since I made the mistake of watching Markiplier's playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's in front of her, she's become a massive horror buff, and I and I and I, and I and, which is so weird for both of us because me and Lady K are not horror fans. <laughs> so it's like, wow. So that's how you're gonna rebel, okay? Well, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> also, uh, for those who haven't noticed, uh, I don't I, I don't know when this happened, but Funimation finally updated their fucking player. Yay! Ooh. I'll have to look at it. I'll have to load up a web page later and see if it's cutting off, if it's trying to burst off of my computer screen still. Yeah, actually, Angie, this is the video page. I'm not, huh. this is not full screened. Oh. They've cut out the whole small window now. This is it. Okay. I even checked because because Kira sent me a direct link. I actually went back to the, the the series page and then pulled up the first episode again. And this is what came up. It's like Netflix now. Yeah, they're definitely going Netflix here. Which, you know, if you're going to emulate any other uh, web uh, streaming service, Netflix is certainly not the worst thing you could do. Yeah, yeah it could have it been, well, it could have been Amazon Prime Video or... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention in my vit in our, uh, yeah, and I was trying to watch Dives Out and it was, I think the audio was desynced from the, from the picture. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's get your episode loaded up. This is Blood Sea, ladies and gentlemen. Episode one, O Ye Winds of Heaven. In three, two, one, play. Ah, uh, yes, a company we all, we all have seen. So there'll be a ton of... No, wait, I think this is before all the CGI. Yeah. Or I might be thinking a different part of the franchise. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Okay, good. Audio's not playing through. Thank God. <laughs> Look at our incredible computer-generated images. What is hard? Wait, what? Oh, you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh come on! Well, that's a good start. We froze, ladies and gentlemen. 35 seconds in, already got our first... You know what? It's probably because I had this open for so long. That tends to happen a lot. Yeah. So let's go. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Note to self if you're, if you're watching through the web browser, everyone. <laughs> All right. Kind to... I'm going to get rid of this. This is the one downside to having this kind of thing. I can't, if I do this, I can't get rid of the highlight. Oops. No, uh, hopefully it'll fade away in a minute here, but let's try this again. Right back to zero. All right, in three, two, one, play. Okay. Yeah, it fades away. I like that much better. They had that overhang thing. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, even the subtitles are highlighted. Fuck. Uh, damn it. I can't control that now. <laughs> okay. Kind of look like ornaments. <laughs> right? Cute little ornaments. Except they're made of blood. I think that actually is supposed to be a decoration. <laughs> Nope. Jumpy. Ooh, open your time. Tell you what, animation, you know, CG, you know, joke about the CG aside, this, uh, the edit, this art style looks pretty good. Then again, it's Production IG. They're not a bad company. And as we just saw, Clamp oh. is head Oh, this is a Clamp Hedda. series. That ex oh, I already, I've already got. Yeah, they, yeah, now. they, yeah, they let them take a crack at the character designs, and it shows. Yeah, I could definitely see Clamp's art style in here. Wait, they, wait, they show up opening since when? Maybe it's just the series that tends to happen a lot. Some series have the, the the opening subs. Gotta love that subtlety about avoiding the nudity there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Song's not too bad. <laughs> she looks like the guy from a uh, uh, holic a little bit. <laughs> if, if, if he was a chick, <laughs> but then it's just clamp. Ah, I believe we have a Shinto priestess here. Of course, main protagonist, female main protagonist, clumsy as shit. Is that Ed Blaylock I hear? Or is that a... That sounds like Sebus. That's that's all I'm saying. I, I hear Sebus. I'm just not sure which one. That could be Bill Jenkins, too. Ah, I just double checked. It is Bill Jenkins. Ha ha ha! Let me guess. After left is Pipped in Shade. Ah, you're on your game today as well. And she's moved over the wrong channel. <laughs> Say you being broke my internet. <sighs> Ooh, 
Buffy. All right. You're asking this girl not to trip. <laughs> There's just something about girls dark girl with dark hair and glasses I find appealing. Honey, this girl tripped trip twice in this intent in less than a couple minutes. A little tact. <laughs> Say what? Lexus doesn't have too bad a singing voice there. Ah. This is way too peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for this the other you get a drop. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're waiting for the other oh. to drop. Where is it? Like, I think, what do we have, like, Three verses now? Jesus, how long is this going to go? <laughs> like, most usually go through a verse, maybe a verse and a half. Like, my God. Uh, less singing, more walking. Woo, cut that close. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, okay. I Is this when the classroom explodes? <laughs> a different show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, we, we, we already that watched that one a while ago. Ago. Was... <laughs> I was going to say, we watched that a few weeks ago. <laughs> 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 uh oh. Oh, come on! Oh, that uh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Now it's never working. Mind. It's working. A little bit of lag there. It doesn't like sports. <laughs> Can't say I blame I'm it. But still. Up. I'll chop it up to Windows 11. No, that's just, it lagged. That's all it is. Uh, 
Oh, of course, dead mom, because the main protagonist can't have a loving fam a full loving family. No. No. Japanese cliche number twenty-two. You know, for some reason, every time I look at Fumito, I always think of Tomasi from Oron. Eh, here's I don't know what. Enough. Things are starting to get ominous. I think... Why does the school have a creepy grandfather clock? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> or just a grandfather clock in general. <laughs> and the cicadas are out in force. <laughs> Japanese cliche number 323. Armbar? <laughs> Make me be this summer. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, cool, finally. My... All right, here's my wrestling card. Yeah, I'll take that. Then again, I already used my Toku card earlier, too. Wait. Something seems weird about that dog. Looks yokai ish. Oh. <laughs> if it's not offering contracts, I'm out of here. <laughs> Is it so late already? Nayo. Oh shit. Things just got serious. Mm-mm. David, when did the sun return to Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I don't know, but holy shit, look at that sword. Just the hilt alone. And the sheath. Oh god, I'm loving the soundtrack. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely setting the right atmosphere. 
Mm-hmm. Also, also, for some reason, Deshant uh, really wants a sword, and he doesn't know why. Thing looks badass. I wouldn't blame him if he did. Uh, that's how you unlock a sword. <laughs> It's floating. The silence is deafening. Aha! It's alive! Ooh. I didn't think you could possibly beat a stone statue with a metal sword, but you know what? I've been fooled before. It's alive! It's alive! Oh god! Oh, looks like he finally got her. Or maybe not. Ooh. Lord of Men. Oh, this is not a dumb one. Mm -hmm. Keep her away from the sword. Good call. Oh! Well, that pile driver backfired. Oh! And suddenly we can cut off, cut off the arms. We got the Memorial Crimson Mask! Whoa! You can use the Genjutsu? Well, whatever she used, it worked! <laughs> Joe Bob would write, Big Bad got the three Bs. Yeah, and a lot of bluff or something masquerading as stone. Right? Jesus.
Oh, it is a demonic creature. We tried too hard. Yeah, you got blood all over you there, kid. <laughs> yeah. And here comes my favorite part of the show. Also, Gardner, you can hand over your Toku card now. Don't think I didn't catch that. Oh, I just saw the cast list. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a douchebag on the cast list. I know that boy! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Not now. Yeah, I recognize that singing voice too. <laughs> hey, James, remember your super good What are we going to do that again? Oh, yeah. Any track that has Nanami Duki in it is an automatic earworm. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything to dispute that here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Nana Mizuki. Junket's Paradox. <laughs> yeah. I uh, know that song by heart. Then it me. Yeah, I'd be more shocked if you didn't know at least one of those songs off the top of your head. Anyway. Also, the the reason I said there was a douchebag in the voice cast list, uh yeah, the the one the one slacker dude that was late to class. Guess who voices them? Oh no. Him? There are two hymns. I will promise you it's not the one, it's not the blonde one. Oh, the other one. Yeah. yeah that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, I would hesitate to mention the first, the one you were thinking of because of the obvious reasons, but no, I'm fully happy to call out this one as a douchebag considering what he's, what he's, uh, why he's no longer in, around. For those who don't know, the voice I'm referring to is one Mr. Scott Freeman. And if you have, and uh, if you want to know why I'm so willing to call him a douchebag, when I'm usually very careful about not insulting voice actors, uh, go check out the, some of the review, some of my uh, high school DXD review. I think that will explain plenty. I was, I was trying so hard. Not to make so many Nana Mizuki jokes until the ADs played. You know what? I respect your restraint. <laughs> I respect you you holding back. Still, I like I, I there are things I like, there are things that I'm not too fond of with this uh first episode. One of the biggest problems is that it stretches way too long on certain scenes. 
Like, yeah, I can agree. Uh, a funny yeah. thing. Funny thing. Uh, you mentioned another earlier in the show, Shades. Um, that's what. Same director. <laughs> that explains so much. Ah, it's the director. Then again, that's not really much to saying much. I mean, it's, it definitely means that they're in the, it's in the same wheelhouse. But it's probably, you know, unless it's the same manga cut that this is based on. Yeah. But yeah, there's definitely pacing issues with this one, as Gardner said it. Like, there, you know, the fight itself, the fight scene itself, great. How long it took to get the fight to start, a little long. Yeah. Yeah, that was about. Yeah, that was like. Tw yeah, that was like twenty. Yeah, that was at least thirty seconds. A little bit too um, long. <laughs> Same with her singing on her way to school. You could have cut out yeah. half of that, and you'd have been fine. Like Again, a, one verse, maybe a verse and a half. You're good. I mean, they had to shove a Nanami Dookie scene in there somewhere. Oh, of course. Yeah, that explains why you've been holding by the joke. She's the she's the main say you, isn't she? It was in the credit, for God's sake. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that part, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm not spoiling. I'm not going to spoil a lot of this show since it's a decade old. Let's just say it gets a lot. Messier later on, per se. Yeah, I've, I've heard this and that. Like, I think the, the other show that was coming around this time was also Blood Plus, which I heard was a little bit better. But yeah, this one, eh. I mean, like, for this first outing, though, like, you get a you get a good sense of everything. You see that, you know, the daughter is clumsy but has a badass side to her. You see that the father is, you know, he, he comes off, he sounds tough, sounds like a hard ass, but he's very caring. He definitely looks out for his daughter. You got the cafe owner, who's definitely the more lighthearted, just, you know, help keep everyone's spirits up. And then you got the classmates. We You got the one, you know, the straight man, as he was called, who's basically just, you know, making sure to keep everyone their heads, heads straight because God knows someone has to. And then you have the two twins, who are clearly, clearly the, uh, the closest thing you're going to get to comic relief. For our first episode, this does a really good job of establishing not only the main cast, but also establishing what it is, like, the big twist that she acts like a normal, innocent schoolgirl uh, with a bit of a clumsy streak, but is actually a badass demon fighter. Demon hunter. And I, and I like the fight scene itself. Very well choreographed. Very good to see, you know, very good back and forth between the two. That was that was where the pacing actually worked out really good. So, that's what I'm saying. I'm like 50-50 on this one. Yeah. And considering this is Watch Buddy Viable, oh boy, I did put this on a list at one point, but the vibe, the limit rule. Probably for the best, but who knows? Maybe somewhere down the line we'll put it back on. But regardless, would we watch more of this? Angie? Um, I think I would probably check out a little bit more. Seems pretty cool. Um, you know, I have my reservations about like, Clamp, but, you know, it's like, it'd be, uh, I'll, I'll see the take on this particular franchise, yes. <laughs> All right. Kira? Oh, oh, sorry, I was humming the ending theme. God damn it! What? <laughs> I already see. I already seen this show. Fair, fair. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I, I swear to God, that was not the main reason why I chose this one. You, you, you can't blame me for uh, being skeptical there. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, do we think you would do the same thing if Tomokazu Sugita was singing? Act. Well, one, no, I wouldn't, because the guy cannot sing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Still, no, I wouldn't. No, I, 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 or after the not, I don't check these shows ahead of time to see the voice cast. So I wouldn't even know if he was in it until it was too late. Regardless, I think I'd watch a little bit more of this to see where it goes. I don't know if I'm fully hooked yet, but I'm, in, I'm curious. I'm definitely curious. 
Regardless, that was Cure's pick this week. Uh, of course, coming on down the line, and, and probably in the next couple of episodes, we will have our viewers' choice. So if you want to send your uh, submissions in for anime you'd like for us to check out, uh, the link is located in the About section below, or use exclamation point AMP. Why do I have AMTV on there? I'll have to fix that later. But regardless, only official websites or YouTube channels will be accepted. And I would and I would actually want to take a minute to stress this point. Because now I'm not gonna name who it was that sent this. And I don't and the person that did it, they don't have to worry about it. They didn't do it. They actually did the right thing. They checked with me on this. But I want to use a point that someone sent to me a link to a streaming site to have me check it out to make sure it was legal. Spoilers, it wasn't. But I want to make this out there for future reference for anyone who does find other streaming sites out there. The quickest way you can tell if a site is legal is to find a disclaimer or an about section or a legal section and look for something in the text that basically says, we do not host the content post on this website or we do not upload the content post on this website. We merely host it. We uh, All of our content is uploaded by users. If you see that anywhere on the site, what the fuck away? Because that is a piracy site. That is basically there's the site's way of saying we don't actually upload the content, so therefore we didn't violate DMCA. Please don't sue us. That is what that is. So if you see that, walk away. <laughs> that that should make it a lot easier. In fact, uh, a, a really good way to if you want to find out what site what stream what uh, streaming sites are streaming what. Uh, there is a site called Just Watch, JustWatch.com, that you can search for any anime. It can search for any TV show, for that matter. It's like all TV, but it covers anime, too. You can search for the name of the anime you're looking for, and it will tell you on what streaming sites it's available on. So be sure to use that from now on. It will save you a lot of headaches. If it's not, if the site, if that site is not listed on on those, uh, if the streaming site you're, you're you're looking at is not featured on that site, I would not trust it. Unless it's Retro Crush, because I don't know if they have Retro Crush on there. But yeah, that should save you some headaches. Anyway, from there, no straight comedy, shoujo, or drama anime because those are very hard for us to rip. Ten to thirty minute episodes only, first episodes only, unless you have a damn good reason otherwise. And be sure to link, provide a link to the title along uh, along with the uh, ser a link to the anime along with the series title on the off chance your link goes dead. Yeah, you can tell it's been a while. <laughs> anyway, it is time for us to switch over and see what's happening on AMTV. Ah, uh, it's been a while since we've done this. So, for tonight's video, uh, we will. Uh, I, just, I figured since we were dealing with, you know, bloodsuckers of some kind, or at least blood, let's go from one, one bloodsucker to another, shall we? Because this is going to be one hell of a night. With Halloween around the corner, I think it's only fitting we have a Halloween-themed uh, AMV for this one. So sit back and relax and enjoy tonight's video here on AMTV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> 